gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisha, and here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. Time for our tale of the tape. And getting ready to fight here, Alexander Usyk, six foot three and 198 centimeter reach. He'll square off against Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. Remember, there's a shorter reach here, so now they have to slip inside and use the speed, use the box melee, and that timing, the time off the long jab that comes in to jump over the top. It's about skills now. Skills will pay the bills. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. The reach, how on earth are they gonna get through that jab? This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, an undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. Fighting out of the blue corner from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Todd, I'm going to stay here till the end of the night, because if you're a fight fan like me, this is what I live for. So a capacity crowd here for this one. We've been waiting a long time for this matchup. And here we go. They ring the bell, and here we go. Nobody home with that hook. Looks like a little bit of a strategy change here, loosening up the technique. Not so tense anymore, trying to loosen things up. I like it. Beautiful counter shot. After so much pre-hype fight and social media drama, I can't believe we're actually in the midst of them fighting. You have certain fighters that are born for this, that are made for the big crowd. And look in that corner right there, that is that fighter right there. They have elevated, lifted, it's like they're not touching the ground. This is what they were born for. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. Nice punch. Perfect punch. Gonna shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. And he scores with the counter. Nice counter shot. So he's gonna drop his arms down here. Not sure that's the wisest decision. You know the scorecards are gonna be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You can We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. 
They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They're going to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. If you're a counter puncher, then basically you do the counter attack. You let them get their punch off first, and then you answer in time. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Now I'm going to get a little more loosey-goosey. Let's see how this one feels. Looks like they're going to try and be a little more elusive now. Good fight so far. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. What's the referee thinking right now? Oh, and just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it's a knockdown. Blink and you miss it. Good thing we can watch that over and over again. I've got to see that again. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be we just saw. To make or break a fighter. And there's the bell to start the round. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head through. A perfect counter shot. Nice punch. He misses with that jab. It's obvious who the bigger, stronger fighter is. Let's see if they use it to their advantage. You've got to use what you've got. I've got a long reach. I use it all the time. Use the speed. Frustrate and make him walk into a jump. Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. Not so rigid anymore with the stance. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. You can't throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You're going to get knocked out. And a good decision here to hold on. You've got to save that in the back because if you ever hit and hurt, a close will save your life. You've got to hold on, clear your head, step up again, push them, hold them, lean them down. So when you're going to use those clinches, do it on the book. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Five. And there's the bell to start the round. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. 
Don't be a fool, don't get sucked in. Make him fight, your fight. Hold him, tie him up, just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. Trying to fight like Roy Jones Jr. now, bouncing on the toes. Well, we know what the game plan is going to be for this fighter. He's got to stick and move and avoid the big shots from the bigger man. When you find somebody so big, this is where you've got to stick to your game plan. You deviate, you're out of there. Some real good back and forth between these two fighters. Trying to land that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fists. Good punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Then we're hoping for an all-action slugfest after a really strong round let's see if they can finish the job todd my motto is if it's not broken why change it an excellent last round everything and that was it that was the big shot we were waiting for and it appears the onslaught is over at least for now green days now needs to steady the pace get the pace back to normal He's going to loosen things up here. Let's see how he does with this fancy footwork. Nice counter shot. Caught him. There's been a significant aggression difference in this fight, Johnny. What are you seeing? You've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. A very competitive round here so far. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. I'm going to try and relax a little bit now. Fight a little differently. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. And the big cat goes down. Let's see that again. I need to see that again. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. They ring the bell, and here we go. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. 
What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. These two featherweights are going to let their hands go. You know that. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. That jab won't score. Solid punch. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Hey, it's the featherweight division. You're going to see a lot of speed in this fight. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. He's dropped the guard now. What do you Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to... And there's the bell to start the round. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Solid punch. Beautiful counter shot. Well, you know, in this division, you got to have speed and you got to have footwork or you're going to be a cooked goose. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you got to think him. you just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fag in a pickpocket them. Good one. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. He's going to go with more footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Well, just a couple rounds left, Johnny. What's your assessment so far? Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. That counter punch caught him clean. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Nice counter punch right up the middle. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. They ring the bell, and here we go. That last round was huge for him, Johnny. How does he keep the momentum going? Charge, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Good punch.
Well, you know, in this division, we're going to see a lot of combinations, a lot of counter punching. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Only catching air with that hook. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? And he misses with that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Oh my goodness, what pace, what pace. They're like, do you know what a Yorkshire Terrier is, Todd? That's, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. And he will hold here, and good thing he did because he was getting beaten up. I don't know if it's a... This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. So much for defensive abilities. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. Dominance, without a doubt, make look so, so easy. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Here he is bouncing on his toes, trying to get some energy. Looks like he's going to move around the ring a little bit more. So his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. Now sometimes style makes fight, but this one... The Whoa, and you saw the balance go. The knees, the foundation, rocked. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. Let's see that again. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? Not many people would have predicted it, but we got a knockout victory. Well, there's no argument right there. Not that you say it. Night-night.